So, welcome to day 85, and inking is continuing on page, uh, on page 44. So, I'm quite happy with this now. This looks pretty cool. Although, his body looks a bit long, so I might move his legs a bit closer up, and then we'll call that one done. Uh, yeah. So, we've just got to do... Duggan, body there, Duggan, the hands there, the close up on Agent Orange, and then there's the last shot with Agent Carl, Agent Cooper, with with Duggan. And that's it, that's another page done, that'll be another page done. Uh, this is a quick update, because I don't want to hang about. Um, right, we'll see you all tomorrow. Bye. Hello, welcome to day 86, and as you can see, the inking of this page continues at pace. There's just one panel left to draw, and I'll do that tomorrow. So it'll be a little shy of eight days to get two pages inked. Um, so, yeah, it's looking pretty good. I'm quite liking how it's working out so far. Um, yeah. So, yeah, I'm hoping that um, we'll get this page inked up tomorrow. This this panel inked up tomorrow. Another page out of the way. And then we'll carry on doing some other stuff. I want to check. I quite like the paint look that Cooper's got in his fa on his face there. That works quite well. But then he looks really calm on this one, so I want to change his expression so it looks a bit more slightly panicked or at least a little flustered. And I want to put the uh, as I'm inking it, I want to put the uh, the the uh, borders, the panel edges in, uh, because that will help really put the scene together. All right, that's enough for now. Um, I'll, I'll speak to you all tomorrow. All right, bye. Hello, welcome to day 88, and um, this is page one of the anthology um, project I'm working on. Um, so I'm just tightening up the, the, the pencils for this first page, and sort of really sort of working on what goes where. Um, so we've got a hedge, the ga garden gate's been broke off the hinges, we've got flowers laid everywhere. Uh, someone's laying some flowers there. Some people are having a cuddle because they're upset. And we've got a Soko guy who's coming out the house with a brown bag of evidence and a teddy bear in a plastic bag. And I uh, thought that would be kind of poignant. Bit of, you know, down enough to start the, the story, but I think it's quite dramatic and tells a story. And then we've got Doggy, which I need to sort of practice rendering for a bit better because it's not, it's not great. I think his neck's a bit big, so I need to check. We're going with a lab. I think we're going to go with like a retriever or a Labrador sort of size dog for this one. Um, I've also asked the writer to come up with like a newspaper name for here. Um, I don't particularly want it to be a recognisable British place like, you know, uh, Doncaster or Wolverhampton or Liverpool or Derby or, or, or Bridge North or somewhere like this but it needs to be a place that sounds like it could be a convincing town in England um, and then that, it'll be the local newspaper and it'll be some, the, the something something Herald or the something something Chronicle or something like this um, and uh, yeah so this is what we've got at the moment it's half hour um I'll continue to work on this over the weekend, and if I've got a chance, I will be doing some um, colouring on pages 43 and 44. I didn't get a good chance to sort of look at the cab design I've been meaning to look at for the truck for page 45, but I will at some point, no doubt. All right, that's enough. Let's uh, let's get on with our weekends. It's, uh, it's, it's kind of nice out. Well... Let's put it this way, it's 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 not raining, so that's that's something to be said. Um and that'll do for now. Alright. Bye.
Hello and uh, welcome to day 91. Um, so this is what I've been working on. I've worked on over the weekend and I've worked on a bit more. It's it's the first page of the anthology project. So we have a dog watching burnt out of the houses with a soccer officer and you know people lying flowers and crying in the background and then we've got a dog a sniff 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 and then the dog looks around and then he's off on an adventure doing a good deed the dog is a hero of the story um proportion of this bin drum needs to be taller i need to put a dog in the scene as well but uh, and I want to. I keep going back to this dog. The um, the distant eye, the far eye of these dogs, it's tricky because their 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 face structure is so different from humans, and so I draw it and it just looks 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 weird. So I will continue to play with that eye and that eye, trying to get something that looks halfway decent. Um. In addition to all this today, I've done some thumbnailing and uh, let's talk about thumbnails. This is chapter three of Consensus Reality. Um, and you can see this is a page that we've just drawn recently. This is page 43, uh, page 44 and 45. So these are the pages that I've been drawing and then we've got 46, 47 is interrogate an interrogation montage and um, introduction to that. Then we have 48 where we introduce the idea that suddenly this agent is not an agent, he's a shapeshifter because back at the, uh, the house, there's the agent in that cupboard. Yes, that agent was doing the sneaky look at, at the uh, at the kitchen door as he's leaving. He was a shapeshifter, and you can see here he is changing shape, running down the corridor with sirens going off. Um, then we cut to a prison cell with a, a guard running in, and an old security guard's going, "Oh, what's happening? Is it a drill?" And he says, "No, it's real. The base has been compromised. We need to get and move this guy." And he's like, "Oh, well." Oh. Tell you what, I can't wait. Two days to retirement, and then crack. And it's our shapeshifter again. He shapeshifted as somebody else, and he's getting um, breaking free Duggan. Cut to different cell with the Santaran and the Ice Warrior. I, feel, I just love those guys together. They're like little and large, brilliant. He's sort of saying, you yeah, know. Um, they'll rue the day that they've 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 held me here. No Santorin never been a prisoner, and the Ice Warriors going. Oh, you do talk a lot of rubbish. And Santorin is sort of getting ready to sort of open the cannibal person, and they hear something. And they hear like a scratch, 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 scratch sound at the door. Sounds like someone's picking a lock. The door explodes open. It's Doug, and he's forced the door open. And he's sort of on the floor going, oh, you never lose the knack, you know. <coughs> cough, cough, cough. Coughing up brick dust. And then the Zygon sticks his head around the corner and says, come on guys, let's get the heck out of here. And uh, sometimes going, yeah, let's let's get these guys. Let's tear them a new one. And the Ice Warrior's going, oh, we could just run away. And he's going, run away? Think of it as a tactical, you know, withdrawal. And the Ice Warrior, uh, Zygon says something and... And they say something else. And this is a tricky page. This has got some CCTV stuff in there. So we see the, all the characters in the CCTV camera. And in the office, the Agent Orange is talking to the camera operator, saying, where are they? And then we see another shot of them. And there's the Santara in there, front and centre, tiny. And then we cut back to... Um, the control room and agent are just saying oh, we need to do some stuff and what's that in the air grate in the air vent there 
it's a Santaran. But how could that be? Well, you know, there's a there's a shapeshifter in the team, isn't there? So I was going to go up the channel to all the security details, and he said, "Okay, go ahead, sir. The whole units converge on this sector, and said, but that will leave them wham." And now we can see that the, so the Zygon has got Agent Orange. He's holding hand over a mouth. He's been impersonating her. Uh, Agent Orange gets up and finds that the Zygon has a gun aimed at her. Uh, this this page, I, this is what I, I sort of scripted that today. They leave the control booth and there are guys with guns already converged on them. And he's sort of saying, back off or shoot, you know. And then we've got a long shot. Here it is. You can see Zygon and um, Agent Orange are backing around the corner. In the meantime, the rest of the gang are meeting up with her. They've got a broom. And you can see that the Ice Warrior... Uh, wedges the broom in the uh, fire escape door and then you can see him through the door going hey, bye guys it's been fun and then there's a loading bay with some guys unloading some stuff from a van talking about football and Zygon's still got his gun so he shoots it in the air tells them to step away from the van and they go okay don't shoot don't shoot the van drives off and then they get colored by agents and they're saying, oh, we're going to get fired for this. That's the end of where we got so far. There's going, to be a, there's going to be a car chase and they get away, but that's to be done. And once they get away, that's the end of the chapter. So it's pretty much the end of the chapter. There's just a little action sequence at the end. And um, that'll be the end of chapter three. And then we're on to chapter four. So I think that's enough for now. Um... I'll pan the camera around outside so you can see it's quite nice outside. Um, that'll do for now. I'm going to make this video tonight. There's a lot going on already. Um, and tomorrow we'll talk some more about the end of the challenge and the plans for the future. Okay, that's enough. Alright, bye.